And here we have our next violin as a restore object. I'm not sure what to say now about this very, very rare sham violin, about the age of everything. But uh, as you can see, the violin shows some heavy cracks on the front. It's very rare shaped. The, I took off the neck, the neck was loose. Anyway. And so what's going to be done? I'm going to take the top plate off. And here I have a mold. Which I just did this to work on the bottom plate later on and not destroying it so you can put the violin directly onto the mold. This is still a little bit wet, the mold, it's just been done a second ago. So here's what we've got. I opened up the top plate. And you can see there, there's a crack on the bottom plate. I made a mold for the top plate to work on. So as you can see here, somebody already closed the crack. Here the crack has, has been glued before, but not cleated. This is one open crack we have to do, that is second one, and up here we have a rough repair, here is a crack in the one. Okay, the end pin and block is totally off. And well, this is going to be a nice repair job. Okay, also for the back table I made a little mold. This time I used old violin box and feet. So this way they can work without hurting the table. I can even put some pressure on it and so on. Okay. okay, here we are a step ahead. So the lower block was cleaned and glued to the ribs and to the bottom plate again. Also the, on the upper block, the ribs were loose, so everything was cleaned and then glued. So let's have a look what's coming up next. So after putting some pleats on here, I have to carefully A little bit down. Before we put the next cleats on. As you can see, it's very handy to work in these molds. So you can really put a lot of pressure onto the plate without hurting it. 
here we have another crack and uh, just put some glue in there and now we have to move it so the glue goes in, in too. Okay now I'm going to flatten this a little bit to only leave as much as necessary. So also on the back plate we had a crack which we glued and the three cleats and we take the cleats a little bit down. Okay. We are on the very last two cleats on the top plate and now we are going to glue the top plate back onto the rest of the body. Okay. This interesting thing on this plate is that it's made from one piece only. It's one piece of spruce. Okay, so far so good. We have it glued and meanwhile we established the lower boats with the end pin hole with ebony, with the ebony patch and little pieces of spruce have been set in here where partially some splits were. Okay. So next step will be that we clean the body after it's glued now and then comes the neck job.
So after we apply a few more new layers of varnish, the varnish is going to be sent down, very fine sandpaper first, to get out the last little things. After the treatment with the sandpaper, we use a very fine stone powder to get out the last little marks. And there it is. Completely restored with a new setup and newly Newly cut, beautiful bridge. The varnish has been perfectly refreshed. All cracks completely closed. This is a very interesting antique violin and it's very unusually shaped. We would estimate its age around the late 1800s. Uh, the violin has a very nicely framed one piece maple back and also the finely grained spruce front is a one piece. The violin was completely restored and now it's here in playable condition.